Hey everyone, Kevin Miller here for Coco Gamer, and this is a review for Mad Balls in Bad Boat Invasion for the Xbox Live Arcade. This 800 Microsoft Point Shoot'em Up, or Shmup as some people like to call it, is a top down shooter which provides gamers with a great way of releasing some stress. <laughs> With points to be accumulated and multipliers to improve your score, Mad Balls can be the type of game in your library that you come back to time and time again to unlock weapons, characters, and transmog growlers, which will provide you with different special skills such as bowling over people as a monk rock. As you can see here, here's one of the tra transmog growlers that you're able to utilize. But does it have the legs and unique replay value to provide you with something new each time you sit down and play? Single player gameplay is quite simple. You run your way through fantastically detailed and definitely well thought out design levels, kill enemies, unlock doors, and kill some enemies some more. But I was never able to find myself wanting to play this game for more than 30 minutes at a time. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing at all, but the campaign mode was just a bit too repetitive and quite honestly not very challenging. I will admit though, it can always be fun to have a fast paced, high action, at times humorous shooter available in your library for a 20 to 30 minute distraction. As I mentioned previously, one of the things I like most about this game is the level design of Mad Balls, which is spot on. The first thing I noticed and immediately admired were the tight and simple controls, which anyone can really pick up and get used to, and also the music. The music in this game helps set the perfect tone for a fast paced trip. If you enjoy the type of game with replay value in a shooter which is the same old level but now with newly unlocked weapons, transom growlers, or characters to use, then this game is no doubt for you. For me though, the weapons, transom growlers, and characters, when I replayed those levels, felt like nothing more than a new wrapping around an already repetitive single player campaign gameplay. <laughs> But this, this is where Mad Ball shines. Multiplayer. And as you can see, Mad Ball is one of the early adopters to utilizing your avatar in game. <laughs> During respawn, you're able to choose a different loadout, which is an alternative weapon to what you're currently using. Some of the weapons are part of the unlockables in the game, so in order to improve the multiplayer, you will need to invest the time to unlock them. And this is where the replay value lies. Oh However, one of the biggest disappointments with Mad Balls, and it's a real shame, is its lack of online community. As you can see here, there's only six people online to do co-op on a Sunday afternoon. And with competitive multiplayer, the small community that does play only seem to want to play Avatar Free For All, which is still fun, but you lose out on the many different competitive multiplayer options that's provided for you with Mad Balls.
and all, if the element of replay value in this game interests you and the multiplayer piques your interest, I definitely recommend picking up Mad Balls and Bad Boat Invasion as soon as you can before the online community falls apart. But in the next couple months, I don't see there being much of community online any longer to enjoy one of the best parts of this game. And that's why this game receives a 7 out of 10.